Good evening and welcome back to Twin State Sports. I'm Zach Seminar. For the seventh time in the last eight seasons and 15th time overall, the Mississippi State softball team is NCAA tournament bound. The Bulldogs road to the World Series begins in Seattle where a pair of Seattle teams await the dogs. MSU will open the double elimination regional on Friday night in a virtual road game against Seattle University. A win would send them towards a likely meeting with the host team and third seeded Washington Huskies. Fordham will open up against UW on Friday night. The winner of the regional will advance to the Supers to meet the winner of the Lexington Regional in Kentucky. Mississippi State will also be joined by the rest of the SEC who all earn berths in the tournament, including Ole Miss, who will host their opening regional in Oxford as an 11 seed. The Rebels uh, regional loaded with three teams, all of whom have won more games than Ole Miss this year. 50 and four Louisiana Ragin Cajun, Southeast Missouri State, and the Rebels opening round opponent Chattanooga will all travel to Oxford. The Rebels opener against the Mox is set for Friday at 6. The winner of this regional will take on the winner of the Tucson, Arizona regional in the Supers. Diamond Dogs showed Ole Miss, who was boss over the weekend with a dominating three-game sweep of their rivalry series at Swayze Field in Oxford. Rebels were outscored 21-10 in the series as MSU won for an NCAA leading 42nd time on Sunday. But for Mississippi State, the consistency that we've seen for much of the season continues to be the glaring strength of a team that has won 10 of 11 since being swept at Arkansas a couple of weeks ago. Well, you know, except for Arkansas, we've really played like that most of the year, I think. So I think that maybe, you know, our three days in Fayetteville were abnormal and everything else is pretty normal because we've, we've been a pretty consistent product most of the year. Ole Miss will head on the road tomorrow to take on A State while MSU hosts La Tech to wrap up non-conference play. After dropping the first game of its four-game series with Arizona, the Braves won three in a row against the Diamondbacks to take the series three games to one. Max Fried returned to the mound to make his scheduled start after leaving his previous start after being hit by a line drive off his hand. Fried went five strong, struck out seven on Sunday, got a key third-inning two-run single to help his cause from Johan Camargo. Braves are off today prior to opening a three-game home series with the Cardinals that comes up on Tuesday. The Los Angeles Lakers head coaching search has come to an end after officially hiring former Pacers and Magic coach Frank Vogel. Vogel got his first coaching gig in Indiana in 2010 where he coached the Pacers to back-to-back -back trips to the Eastern Conference Finals in 2013 and 14 before losing to the Heat and LeBron James. The man he will now coach. He becomes the fifth Laker coach in the last eight years. In a shocking turn of coaching carousel, Michigan basketball coach John Beeline leaving for the NBA to join the Cleveland Cavaliers. Beeline leaves one of the NCAA's most successful programs and takes on the Cavs job left open since the departure of Larry Drew. Beeline reportedly agreeing to a five-year contract. Under Beeline, Michigan has been to two national championship games and four Big Ten titles in 12 seasons. And what a weekend it was for playoff basketball. Two game sevens tipped off on Sunday. They both lived up to the hype starting in the West where the Blazers were able to rally back from a nine-point deficit in the second half to sink the Denver Nuggets thanks to 37 from C.J. McCollum. Portland off to the conference finals for the first time since 2000. Then in the East, the Toronto Raptors squaring off against the Philadelphia 76ers. It went down to the wire under 10 seconds to play. Jimmy Butler going coast to coast, ties the game up at 90. Then check this out if you have missed it, you want to see this under five to play. It's Kawhi Leonard getting the inbounds pass, works his way into the corner. His shot dances on the rim before dropping in at the horn. Raptors move on to take on the Bucks in a series that starts on Wednesday.